brothers and sisters, friends from the media, and also all the police people who helped us with the yatra today. We are walking 25, 26 kilometers every day and normally walking such a distance should be difficult. But I have been noticing a very strange thing that has been happening. Normally, when you get up in the morning, the steps that you take are much easier than the steps than the steps you take towards the evening. In any yatra you find that in the morning it is easy, in the evening it is difficult. But in this yatra I am finding that the opposite is happening. The evening is much easier than the morning. And I'm watching, I'm watching carefully the Congress leaders who are walking in the front row. The local MLAs, the candidates, I'm watching them carefully, all of them in the first row. And I'm watching them in the evening, they are all accelerating. And I am realizing it is the energy of the people of Karnataka that is pushing us. If we feel even a little bit tired, somebody comes and helps us. In the yatra, people fall down. Immediately, somebody picks them up. All religions, all communities, all languages, young and old, everybody walks peacefully in this yatra. It is like, it is like the big Indian rivers. Everybody becomes
ಸಾಧುವಾನ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪಾದಯಾತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಒಗ್ಗಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಒಂದಾಗಿ ಪಾದಯಾತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆ ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಹುಡುಗಿ ವಾಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಈ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಮಹಾ ಜನಸಾಗರದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಮಹಾ ನದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ನದಿ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಬರಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ ಜಾತಿ ಯಾವುದು ನಿಮ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಯಾವುದು ನಿಮ್ ಮತ ಯಾವುದು ನಿಮ್ ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆ ಏನು ನಿಮ್ ಕೊಡಲ್ಲ ಸಾಕಾರ ಅಂತ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಐ ಎಮ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯಾತ್ರಾ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಮಿರರ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಈ ಯಾತ್ರೆಯ ವಿಶೇಷತೆ ಏನಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಯಾತ್ರೆ ಭಾರತ ದೇಶದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯನ್ನ ಪ್ರತಿ ಬಿಂಬಿಸಂತ ಮಹಾ ಯಾತ್ರೆಯು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಬಿಂಬಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಯಾತ್ರೆ ದ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಸವರಾಜಿ ದ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗುರುಜಿ ದ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಬೇಡ್ಕರ್ ಜಿ ದ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪಾದಯಾತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಬಸವಣ್ಣ ಅವರ ಧ್ವನಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗುರುಜಿ ಅವರ ಧ್ವನಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ ಅಂಬೇಡ್ಕರ್ ಅವರ ಧ್ವನಿ and this yatra is fighting a particular ideology ee ondu padyatre moorvagi na ondu yurana bagge avashyata nerada marta idive but ideology that seeks to divide india an ideology that seeks to spread hatred among the family called india now ee padyatre moorva ee desha na oriyanta ee desha na pakkanta aikyatena kelsatta the ideology that is cowardly that is weak and that is arrogant ee ondu tattvalli yavada ondu naitikata illa yavada ondu dhairya illa idu hetike ondu tattva sikta an ideology that lacks confidence in this country ee ondu tattva siddhanta yav rithi nadre this country is a wise country is a humble country is a harmonious country ee ondu desha buddhivanta desha prabuddha desha samvinayavagi bhaalanta desha okkatagi iranta desha sandesh ko i am talking to the youngsters of kannada kelo dinaga hinde nanu ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ 
for them, for them, Canada is a secondary language. The BJP RSS is a secondary language. It is not to be respected. And for us, Canada is primary importance for the Canada people. And if the BJP and RSS think they can attack the Canada language, they can attack the people of Karnataka, they can attack the history of Karnataka, they are going to face the full force of the Congress party. Nobody is going to dictate to the people of Karnataka how they are going to live their lives. Nobody is going to tell the people of Karnataka what language their children can take exams in. This is what Bharat Jodo means. It means respecting the culture, the language, the history of the people of Karnataka. It means that the people of Karnataka want to speak Kannada and the people of Tamil Nadu want to speak Tamil and the people of Kerala want to speak Malayalam. They should be allowed to do that. The BJP, instead of dividing India, should explain to India why we have the highest level of unemployment in 45 years. BJP Today I met farmer, peanut farmer after peanut farmer whose crop was ruined. I saw, I saw tons and tons of tomatoes rotting on the side of the road. The BJP should explain to the fathers of Karnataka what they have done to help them. They should explain to the people of Karnataka why for the first time in Indian history farmers are having to pay GST. And the BJP should explain to small and medium businesses why they did demonetization, why they have a flawed GST and how they abandon, abandon our workers, our small and medium businesses and our farmers during COVID. They should also explain why we have the highest prices we have ever had. Why a gas cylinder that used to cost 400 rupees now costs 1000 rupees. Why petrol and diesel have become as expensive as gas? These are the issues that the 
भारत जोड़ो यात्रा इज रेसिंग We will not allow the BJP and the RSS to divide India and to spread hatred in this country. Now BJP and the RSS na the desha na or do we budge ne maadi? We should be ja budge ne maadi. The desha na hard maada ke desha tam ne ke yaad ek kaadu ko bida dila. Dividing this country is an act against the interest of this country. The desha na we budge ne maada ke to the desha na. It weakens this country. It does not strengthen this country. This yatra is about unemployment and asking the question to the BJP: Why we are facing the highest unemployment levels we have ever faced? And this yatra is about asking the BJP why the poor people of India are facing the price rise they are facing, while the rich in India can do anything they want. I thank all of you for supporting this yatra by walking with us, by giving us so much love and affection, and by helping us every second of the way. And I would like, like to thank the entire Congress family for the effort they have put in, for the energy they have put in, and for the love and affection they have put in. Congress function of Putum by the Putum of the Prati of the Southern Silk Pura, the Tanya Legator in the Potentakata, Shama, the Potentakata, Bernido, the Potentakata, Gurime, the Melarai, Shabarinda, the Padia, the HSP. Thank you very much for all your help and all your love and affection.